This video is all about all powered solar generators, power stations, battery packs, whatever you want to call them, and the 400 watt portable solar panel. So all powers do this one, which is a 500 unit, and I keep this one in my camper van, it's really handy size. This is a 750, I'm just lifting the fold down handle, and we've got one of these to give away as part of this video as well. They also do this 1500 watt, very similar to the last two, but obviously bigger. And then there was a slightly bigger one, which is a 2000 watt one. But we're going to focus and have a look at the 1500 watt unit and uh, the 400 watt solar panel. And as I say, the S700 version, uh, we've got one to give away to a subscriber. So stay tuned to the video and see how you can win an S700 as part of this giveaway. Look at some of the stats on the solar panel. So it's a 400 watt solar panel and it runs at 37.4 volts. It's not completely weatherproof. Um, and the brackets on the side enable you to get it at the right angle. These fold out brackets as you've just seen on the video. It's uh, quite a big panel but it falls down to a decent size and easily fits in the garage of the camper van. And I suppose if you're in the UK and you want a decent size um, portable panel, you're looking at about 400 watts, particularly if you're not in the height of summer. What I like about this all power solar panel, there's no messing about. You get the standard male and female connectors out of there, so it'll fit practically any solar setup. It comes with this adapter, which is a decent size length as well. And it comes with this one with the adapters on for the different size barrel connections. So you can use it on let's just say those companies that supply orange power units and get you to only buy their units because it's a particular size. With this one, it'll fit. And they're a damn sight cheaper than the orange company. Thing with these as well is they've got lots of loops on. So these tie off loops. So if you're packed up for a period of time, you can use these little bungee loops are all the way around the unit on each panel to actually fasten it on the roof of your van or to put it on the awning or to fasten it down anywhere with some guy ropes as you want as well as the legs so it can be it can be hung up vertically or you can put it on your um awning lay it on top of your awning and fasten it down or you can fasten it onto a roof rack obviously you need to remember it's not waterproof so these are the power packs that all look very similar and if you saw the other one, the 2000 version, it's a different design. But this is my 500. You've probably seen this on the channel before. I use it quite often. It sits in a cupboard up there. And I use it for my laptop. I do a lot of work on a laptop, not just YouTube, but for my day job. So this enables me to have my laptop practically anywhere. And I can sit and do the work I need to do and have Teams calls and whatever. And it's a great little backup for being in the cottage as well if the power goes off. This is the S700, this is the box for it, and they're almost the same size, if you can see there, there's just a little bit of height difference in them, but exactly the same configuration. And this is the one we're going to give away, we've given away two of these in the past I think, so this one's a giveaway as part of this video, thanks to our friends at All Powers. And then this one here is the S1500. And yep, you're right, <laughs> this is 1,500 watt hours. So five, seven, 1,500, all the same sort of configuration. And if you've seen my video before about these video, these type of power pack, you'll know I love the size of them. They're so practical, the size and where they've put the sockets and everything. With the 1,500, another difference to these two is you'll notice here you've got full sockets. And although this is a 1,500 watt hours, that's a combination of these. So you're not going to get 1,500 out of each of them. It's a, it's a division of those. So you need to think about that when you're actually running something. Super easy to use. Lights are the side. Um, it has here a Wi-Fi Bluetooth connection. So you can run it off an app. DC on and off and AC on and off. 
and when you switch it on the fans do run the fans are not over loud on this um, but it's uh, a nice straightforward shape and size and easy to use and the the lights that they have on them are independent switched as well on the side you've got plenty of vents on the side and that's where one of the fans are and then you have the outputs for the USB so four standard USBs and one USB-C and two of the barrel connector outputs on the side there so as long as you give a gap of about three or four inches so it's got plenty of air circulation you can actually put this in a cupboard or in the garage and run it off the app on your phone there's nothing on the back which is good so you can push it right up to the back of a cupboard out of the way and you don't lose any space like that the side here you have a power input here for your mains plug we'll look at that in a minute this is the input for the solar and for a car charger cigarette lighter type socket and this one's an output so this is the traditional if i can open it <laughs> that's better that was in there tight that's the traditional cigarette socket that you can run off there and i think that runs up to 10 amps this side like the other side there's vents so the ventilation is all the way through and you can see a fan up at the top there so again you need to keep a space at the side to let the vents run um, and obviously if you're going to use these sockets that space will be beneficial for those sockets as well fold down handle is great that pushes right down there and locks out the way and gives you a nice flat space there's no um through charging system on the top of this for your phone but it's a nice shape it will fit in a cupboard as that one does in my cupboard makes it really handy to get to and easy to use that 500 actually i can put in a rucksack and uh, i previously did a video which i'll put up there now um and you'll see me putting that in a rucksack and taking it into a field with a solar panel and using it to run my laptop these are lithium iron batteries so they're not the best battery that you can buy but they reflect that in the price of these units compared to some of the other products uh, all the prices and information will be in the description below i always do that because it, these videos stay on there forever and the prices and things vary so just check the description out below and i do update them if i get updates from the companies this is still very good you'll get about 800 to maybe a thousand cycles before this drops to 80 percent capacity and there is another video i've done um, to explain all the things you need to consider about buying a power pack and i'll put that up here now so if you're thinking of buying one and you don't know what you need to use and how you're going to use it just check that video out. i put that video together to enable me to cut these videos down and not the say, say the same thing time and time again real simple display how long the battery will last um, and a picture of the battery and the percentage it says if your ac and your dc is on and it says if the actual uh, linkage to the bluetooth app is on and it'll tell you also on here when you're charging it how much power it's taking in and you can work out how long it's going to last when it's running something and how long it's going to take to charge it up as well we always like a power pack that comes with a bag to keep its leads in so this comes with a nice little simple bag and in this bag all you get in the bag is you get a power brick so it's quite a big power brick but that's the lead that fits into the side and obviously the mains lead the three point three pin plug 13 amp plug um, we tend to call these as a kettle lead um, for the uk use obviously they do different configurations for different countries so if you're in europe or in america there'll be a different configuration of charging and the sockets will be different this one's interesting because the 500 used to come with european and english sockets on so you can plug both in there but they tend to have gone to these standard ones now there's probably a reason for that they come with a two-year guarantee and i've never had a problem with any of this type of um all powers kit they were come really well packaged the the, the packaging inside them is really thick all around it so if you've got one and you're worried about getting it battered about when you're using it if you're car camping or tent camping you can put it back in the box and it's a really good package to move it about in the specification you can see on the box there lithium iron battery so it's not the phosphate battery there's a capacity and voltage on there the weight is about 10 kilograms measurements are on there in millimeters and inches input and output on all the different systems there And they're great to deal with our um, all powers. I've not had a problem communicating with them at all. They've been really easy to work with. 
So here's the app on my phone, as you can see it gives you the percentage, how long it's going to run for, how many days and how many hours. And now obviously if we run something from the unit, if we plug something in the 12 volt or the main side of stuff, this will start to drop down and give you the calculation. There's a physical bar on there, it tells you how much power is going in, so if you link it to the solar panel or you link it to mains or to the car charger, this is the AC on and off and it's really easy, it just switches the 12 volt on and off and the mains on and off. Real simple and also you can switch the lights on as well. So which is quite good because if it's in the garage and it's hidden out the way you probably won't have a light in there so you can actually press this to see what's actually going on in your garage. So you could fasten this on a wheel arch of your camper van in your garage and just have everything plugged in it have your solar plugged in it, have your 12 volt charger in so it charges when you're driving and have your mains leads plugged into this as extensions back into your cap like we do with this socket in the corner here this is just plugged into a power pack in the back of the camper van and there's a switch on the top of that to switch it on and off there and it's got USBs on as well so you can actually run that this remotely from the back of your camper van in the garage out the way strapped on a wheel arch or wherever best it's to go in a cupboard out the way as long as you give enough room for those ventilations on the side and the cables can go in and out although this is not a long-term test and review on the 1500 i've had this 500 one and it's all dirty and marked and scratched where it's been battered around for about four years and it gets a hell of a lot of use purely because of its physical size and easy to move around so, and I've had no problems whatsoever with that. And the configuration and the way this works is exactly the same as the 1500 and exactly the same as the 700 that we're giving away. So to win this S700, I've obviously got it here, so I'll be sending it. It's not coming from the manufacturer. You need to leave a comment in this video saying, I want one. And by the closing date, which is down below now, I will have chosen a winner randomly using a, a system to search for those words, I want one. And we'll randomly pick that person and we'll produce a video just after the closing date. And that will show the slide of the winner. And then I'll send a comment in the comment section back to that person. And we'll communicate through my email, which is one man and his whip it at gmail.com. I won't contact you in any other way. So if you get any of these scammers, which seems to be doing it all the time now, asking you to text or go on to Telegraph or various other ways, that's not me. You'll see the winner slide in the video and then I'll contact you through that process to verify it's you. It's only for UK subscribers. So the rules for this giveaway are it, you need to live in the UK because it's a UK model and I'm covering the postage. There's no cost to anybody. And um, so you need to be a subscriber and you need to be in the UK. And that's all you have to do. And we'll randomly choose one and somebody else will win another one of these brilliant S700s. I could also recommend the 500 and definitely the 1500 as well. They're all great value pieces of kit. If you want one of these for your camping, uh, in a tent, in a caravan, backup power in the house, why not have one of these lower priced ones instead of paying a lot of money? If you're not using it all the time and you go away on the odd weekend or if it's just for holidays, instead of invest investing lots of money, you, you save a lot of money by buying a lower price version like this i know they're not iron phosphate batteries but if you're not charging it and discharging it every day every week that's going to last you a hell of a long time anyhow so it's not really a problem there's mine back away in the cupboard that's where it lives the other good thing about these solar panels is they're only thin so if you have a garage in your camper van you can actually create a shelf and slide it into a shelf and it's well out of the way and doesn't take up much storage. And you're not messing about drilling holes in the roof of your van and having the problem of running an MPPT and everything else you need to use. So great way of doing solar on your van to back things up and you can use it for other things if you go car camping or tent camping or in a caravan. Highly recommend these portable panels. The only thing with this one, like many of the other manufacturers, it's not waterproof. And in the UK, obviously we get lots of rain. But uh, as long as you're around and you can put it where if it starts to rain, it's not a problem. But I do wish they'd start to make all the portable solar panels fully waterproof.
So we need to announce the winners. <laughs> yeah, right, Rosie. We need to announce the winners of the um, security cameras and the pet camera and that light. And we're filming this as usual before the closing date. And I'll put a slide in now with the three people who've won those items. And we'll send your information across to the company that supplied them all. And they'll send them out directly to you from Amazon. Again, remember, no way to communicate with us apart through the comments of this video. And we don't ask anybody for any money for any postage or anything. We cover all those costs as always. Oh, this another one needs to be in. You're missing out on something, Lou. You're missing out on something. All the big power units, we check the inverter to see the quality of the inverter because our house system has a transfer box here which you can switch over from mains power that goes into the fuse box in the cottage there's the fuse box and if it's not a good inverter the fuse box in the house will switch off so that's now actually running the cottage there's not a lot of things on at the moment about 90 watts um, but if we switch the light on and off that's all running off that power pack so the inverters are good quality yep. approved by rosie the all powers s1500 portable power station there's the unit and we've no help whatsoever from them too i'll thank you for watching do remember that this giveaway is just for people that subscribe to this channel and are you in the uk so we need to get it out to you when it's a UK model. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Say goodbye, Rosie. Say goodbye.